What's up guys, welcome back to Wrench Capital Charts. Today we're taking a look at NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, on a variety of time frames in anticipation of tomorrow's trading day, Thursday, January 25th. Now NVIDIA here today pushing to another all-time high, both intraday all-time high and a closing all-time high. Pulling back slightly off of that intraday all-time high, but consolidating nicely here in the after hours. So let's take a look at a variety of time frames here and lay out a potential bullish and potential bearish scenario. Before we do that, listen, this is a brand new channel. If you get value out of these videos, please subscribe to the channel. Maybe even leave a like on the video. It helps out tremendously, and I appreciate it. Thank you. So let's move on here from the one minute and take a look at the five minute here. Again, you can see... This very much so shows just how nice the consolidation is at these new levels, holding that closing all-time high. Now, granted, we did pull back, you know, from this intraday high to now, approximately just under 2%. NVIDIA is a volatile name. From yesterday's close to that intraday high, I mean, the stock was up nearly 5%. You can only ask for so much each day out of a stock like NVIDIA. The earnings and especially the guidance has been so or have been so ridiculously positive that as the market cap grows here and it takes more and more money to attract to continue to grow the stock price, I am personally much more comfortable with a slow, steady continuation to the upside from a bullish perspective, allowing the name a few days, perhaps weeks, maybe even months here and there to show some stair-stepping movement rather than simple parabolic upside, right? But listen, hey, the stock's up 2.5% today. It's not a small day by any means. Let's take a look here at the 30-minute chart as we zoom out. The 50-period moving average, that white line here on the 30-minute, this morning's little dip off the open tested that, respected it to a T before ripping upside to that intraday high. And interestingly here, that level, you know, it's a 30-minute chart, it's a heavily watched chart, and the 50-period is a heavily watched uh, indicator on this chart. You guys know how I feel about indicators. They're, I think they're self-fulfilling prophecies, and I would not want them any other way. But this indicator this week, undoubtedly, really the past five trading days or so, has been in play here on NVIDIA as we see this grind higher really only giving it up once, consolidating just beneath that level before bouncing back up above it right before uh, yesterday, Tuesday's close. And remember, if you're looking to put on a trade, you want as many different things on as many different time frames lining up for you as possible. So it's important to keep track of all the time frames and, and what's currently in play on those time frames. So let's take a look now at the four-hour chart you can see here pulling away heavily ever since January 8th above the 50 period moving average here on the four hour. So something that I'm going to be keeping an eye on here moving forward from a very neutral perspective is this 50 day moving average or I'm sorry, the 50 period moving average here on the four hour chart, because currently, you know, don't shoot the messenger. We are about nine and a half, 10 percent above that level. And currently from current levels here, on NVIDIA, it would take about a 7% drop off to come back down and meet that thing. So if you're a bull looking at the four hour chart right now, you're really looking ideally for maximum volume and time consolidating up here well above $600 a share to suck that, that 50 period moving average here on the four hour chart upside, ideally above 600 bucks a share to just add another level to potentially help hold on to that psychological level that we recently picked up here of 600. Now, let's look at the granddaddy of all of them, the, the two-year, really the daily chart here. Now, let's lay out here a potential bullish and bearish scenario as we move into tomorrow. But first of all, volume here, pretty average. We saw actually a kind of a dip in volume, a little bit bizarre here on, on NVIDIA. But, you know, the volume has picked right back up. It's actually perhaps slightly higher than average here in the last couple of weeks. I always like to see high volume, whether I'm extremely bullish or extremely bearish on a name. The high volume helps to confirm movement that we've already seen because it's a larger sample size from the market agreeing on price. Now, a bullish scenario. Let's lay out that, let's lay that, that out first here. That's $600 
region is a psychological level clearly and is highly likely to turn into a technical level even more so than it already has we got a slight rejection off that a couple of days ago here but listen the old saying thoughts become things incredibly relevant when it comes to ta again it's a self-fulfilling prophecy people look at a, a round number like 600 bucks a share here on nvidia it's a psychological level they tend to and on a mass scale big sample size right trade around that level perhaps institutions program their algorithms to trade perhaps more heavily around that level hence turning the psychological levels in to technical levels it's very common so if you're a bull here on nvidia don't be surprised if we see a back test of 600 bucks a share in fact i would expect it more so than we just clear it and continue to gap upside but i would actually prefer from a bullish perspective if we were able to come back in and see even a multi-test of 600 make a couple of bounces and then ideally shoot up through that high of 628.50 approximately up making a test up towards 650. that would be a wonderful case as a bull here and that starts with tomorrow you know if we end up do, seeing a back test of 600 ideally holding that into the close now, something to take note of here on the daily chart on NVIDIA, probably the most heavily watched chart here on any name, let alone this one, the 50-day moving average, that white line, and the 200-day moving average are probably the two most common indicators here on the daily chart of anything else in the market. So those are always going to be relevant. One thing I'm taking note of, I like that the 50-day is popping above 500 bucks a share. You can see here, in a variety of, of events here, 500 bucks a share has acted as a resistance level. You know, it's a very obvious psychological level. We've seen that big, big triple top, quad top almost, 5X, right? 6X before ripping through here just on around January 8th. So ideally, you know, if I'm looking at this from a bullish perspective, I want volume high and I want NVIDIA spending you know, even, listen, if it goes sideways for a month, I don't care. As long as it holds 600 and spends time above there with good volume, you know what that's doing? It's not accomplishing nothing. It's sucking this 50-day up toward 550 as quickly as possible. And it's going to take time. You know, this is a daily chart. It takes time to move these things. But, you know, inevitably, I would want that 50-day as close to 600 bucks a share as possible because that offers another level to act as a potential support level a supporting factor right and that all starts with holding 600 tomorrow perhaps the next couple of days now if you're a bear you're thinking one thing here looking at nvidia give up 600 fade hard off 6 625 and then you have that 50 day way down here which listen if we were to fade hard off 600 you know, a lot of bears are going to be looking at 500 and that 50 day as the clear, dare I say, target, right? Just psychologically, it's very obvious here looking at this chart. That is what an aggressive bear would be thinking here. So they're thinking right now, just give up six and do it ASAP. Now, really quick, before we take a look at the option chain to look at a call put ratio here to see what the option traders are thinking today. This is implied volatility. Notice here that over the last year or so, IV is sitting in the lower, you could argue slightly lower to mid range here. For those of us that are buying options, right? That's good to see. You want all of that Vega value, as much of it as possible, squeezed out of those contracts when you're buying them to open up the opportunity of IV pump. Now the opposite is true when you're selling contracts. You want to sell it way up here, when that IV crush can benefit you as an options seller. Now just remember with IV, you can only compare it to itself. You can't compare it to other stocks. It doesn't really work that way. And you also have to keep in mind your intended trade time frame and only compare it to that similar time frame in the past. Okay. Now let's take a look and see what the option traders on Nvidia here are thinking today. 1.956 million total contracts traded, 1.16 million calls, 793,000 puts. So this chain as a whole, undeniably leaning to the bullish side, but what I really like to pull out of this is the short-term data, right? This is a video heading into tomorrow. 
These are going to be done frequently, right? So we need to look at short-term data. How do we get that? There's actually a really good way to do it that a lot of people don't know of or overlook. That's 0 to 20 delta range. Think about what those are, right? Those are the -the out-of-the-money, cheapy, gambly style calls and puts. Most of the time, those are going to be really short dated. So what this volume number gives us is sentiment based on like, like how are the short-term speculators positioning themselves and what's the call to put ratio there? 268,700 calls in that, in that delta range of zero to 20, 415,500 puts. So we're actually seeing the short-term bearish speculators outweighing the short-term bullish speculators. But as is typical with these big blue chip companies and you know, ETFs, we're seeing that higher quality money, that you know, 41 to 100 delta, especially the 61 to 100 delta, those in the money, oftentimes longer dated, sometimes leap contracts, right? Um, leaps contracts, long-term equity anticipation securities. With a much higher volume on the call side compared to the put side. So overall, overall chain here, leaning to the bullish side, mid and longer term, leaning to the bullish side, very short term, the short term speculators, leaning pretty bearish here. Looks like the options traders, at least today, are betting a little bit more heavily on that short term pullback, but long term upside. If you find value in these videos, please subscribe to the channel. Again, it's a brand new channel, helps out tremendously, and I'll see you in the next one.